And welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Emily Flores and I'm Courtney Johns and we begin this half hour with the latest in the Tyree Nichols death investigation. The police report from the night officers stopped and beat Nichols details a glaringly different account from what that video we've seen shows. ABC's Morgan Norwood has more on this fallout as calls for police reform grow louder, though we do want to warn you that you may find this video disturbing. New questions surrounding the incident report that officers turned in after Tyree Nichols was beaten. The report obtained by ABC News tells the story of an irate suspect. The officer writing, detectives gave verbal commands to stop resisting, and then the suspect Tyree Nichols grabbed for Detective Martin's gun. But the video released last Friday doesn't show Nichols ever reaching for an officer's gun. Okay, stop. The DA promising a thorough investigation. We're just looking at everybody, you know, even people that were uh, filing reports afterwards. We're making sure that we have done a comprehensive investigation. And the investigation thus far resulting in another two officers being relieved of duty, including white officer Preston Hemphill, seen on his body camera footage deploying his taser at Nichols. Hemphill has not been charged. Nichols' family questioning why Hemphill wasn't identified until now, saying it certainly begs the question why the white officer involved in this brutal attack was shielded and protected from the public eye and to date from sufficient discipline and accountability. Hemphill's attorney says he is cooperating with the investigation. Memphis police telling ABC News it is protocol to immediately release names of officers fired, not relieved of duty. A total of seven officers involved in Nichols' death have been relieved of duty, including five who have been fired and charged with murder and three from the Memphis Fire Department have also been fired. As Tyree Nichols' family prepares to say their final goodbyes, renewed calls for police reform. President Biden saying it's time. Do you still think George Floyd Act is the most reasonable legislation to get through a divided Congress? I think we should do it right now. And the Congressional Black Caucus is set to visit the White House on Thursday to discuss that police reform legislation. White House officials will travel to Memphis for Tyree Nichols' funeral. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.